Hello and welcome. My name is Alan and we are back with more members of the 118th Congress. Today, we are looking at Representative Melanie Stansbury, who is the representative for the 1st District of New Mexico. The district encompasses um, Albuquerque and parts of it. But yeah. Um, she is a Democrat and before she took office she was preceded in office by Deb Holland. Now, let's go ahead and look at who she is as an individual. She was born in Farmington, Nor uh, New Mexico on January 31st, 1979. Graduated from Cibola High School in Albuquerque, New Mexico in 1997. Earned a Bachelor of Arts from St. Mary's College of California in Moraga, California in 2002. Earned an M.S. from Cornell University in Ithaca, New York in 2007. Was a consultant, a staff member for the New Mexico Museum of Natural History and Science in Santa Fe, New Mexico. 2002 to 2004 staff member for the White House Office of Management and Budget 2011 to 2015 staff member for the Senate Committee on Energy and Natural Resources 2015 to 2017 member of the New Mexico State House of Representatives 2019 to 2021 before being elected as a Democrat to the 117th Congress by special election to fill the vacancy caused by the resignation of U.S. Representative Deborah Holland of New Mexico and re-elected to the succeeding Congress. So she is in term two, year four. Let's go ahead and look at the committees she is on. She's on the Committee on Natural Resources, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations, and she's on the Committee on Oversight and Accountability, of which she's on the Subcommittee on Economic Growth, Policy, Energy Policy, and Regulatory Affairs, and the Subcommittee on Government Operations and the Federal Workforce. Now, let's go ahead and look at her top five industry donors over her career. At the top, number one, we have retired, who have donated $295,081. Next is Democratic Liberal Groups, who have donated $286,566. Next is Leadership Packs, who have donated $272,301. Next is Lawyers and Law Firms, who have donated $261,586. And fifth is Casinos and Gambling, who have donated $189,303. Let's look at her top five individual donors and contributors over her career. At the top, number one, we have the University of New Mexico, a public research university in Albuquerque, New Mexico, founded in 1889 by the New Mexico Territorial Legislature. It is the state's second oldest university, the flagship university in the state, and the largest by enrollment, with 22,630 students in 2023. 
University of New Mexico comprises 12 colleges and schools, including medical school and the only law school in New Mexico. It offers 215 degrees and certificate programs, including 94 baccalaureate, 71 master, and 37 doctoral degree programs. The main campus spans 800 acres and in central Albuquerque, with branch campuses in Gallup, Los, Al Los Alamos, Rio Rancho, Taos, and Los Lunas. Now, all together, they have donated $52,475. And once again, that's the University of New Mexico. Next, at number two, we have J Street PAC. The Political Action Committee PAC arm of J Street, who is a nonprofit liberal advocacy group based in the U.S., whose stated aim is to promote American leadership to end the Arab Israeli and Israeli Palestinian conflicts peacefully and diplomatically. J Street is incorporated on November the 29th. 2007. According to J Street, its PAC, the J Street PAC, is the first and only federal PAC whose goal is to demonstrate there is meaningful political and financial support to candidates for federal office from large numbers of Americans who believe a new direction in American policy will advance U.S. interests in the Middle East and promote real peace and security for Israel and the region. All together, they have donated $27,117. And once again, that's J Street Pack. Next, at number three, we have Carpenters and Joiners Union. Their full name being the United Brotherhood of Carpenters and Joiners, or sometimes just the United Brotherhood of Carpenters. It was formed in 1881 by Peter J. McGuire and Gustav Lukberg. It has become one of the largest trade unions in the U.S., and through chapters and locals, there is an international cooperation that poses poises the Brotherhood for a global role. For example, the North American chapter has over 520,000 members throughout the continent. Altogether, it has donated $25,000, and once again, that's Carpenters and Joiners Union. Next, at number four, we have Lobo Pack. It is a leadership pack associated with Mount Martin Heinrich of New Mexico. Um, and what I can tell, I don't know if it's really left or right, but it seems to be pro-New Mexico politician or pro-New Mexico groups. I would assume it's Democrat. But again, I, I cannot verify that for sure. Uh, there's minor Republican fundraising. No, there's no Republican fundraising. So it is a Democrat leadership pack. All right. All together, they have donated $25,000. And once again, that's Lobo Pack. Finally, in fifth, we have the American Association for Justice. It is formerly known as the, Amer the Association of Trial Lawyers of America and is a nonprofit advocacy and lobbying organization for the plaintiff's lawyers in the U.S. Focused on opposing tort reform, the organization is one of the Democratic Party's most influential political allies, according to the Washington Post. Altogether, it has do donated $22,500, and once again, that's the American Association for Justice.
Now let's look at our donors at a glance. Industry-wise, retired, absolutely wonderful. Democratic liberal groups, boo suck. Leadership packs, boo suck. Lawyers and law, law firms, uh, casinos and gambling. Uh, individually. University of New Mexico, absolutely wonderful. J Street Pack, ooh. Carpenters and Joiners Union, absolutely wonderful. Lobo Pack, boo suck. American Association for Justice, uh, okay. But this has been a look. At Representative Melanie A. Stansbury, who is the representative for the 1st District of New Mexico. As always, educate thyself, think, read, study, learn. Someone tells you something you have trouble believing, ask them to cite their sources. I'll be putting my links and sources in the description box below the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, later.